Today, we welcome you to Guildhall MC. These two are NPCs. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're NPCs. Anyway, I want to welcome you guys to Guildhall MC, which is the big project that we've been working on. It's been it's been a long time, and it's like yes. Apparently, I am Guildhall MC. <laughs> so yeah, this has been a long project so far, and I must say. It is still nowhere complete. That is how much work this thing is. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the trailer, but I mean, I mean, just looking over there, we've still got so many outlines of things to build. If you ever see any like yellow or white, or well, there's no red anymore. There used to be red. Um, any outlines made out of wall, those are buildings that are still to come. I mean, there's, there's so many over here. We haven't. We've hardly touched this side of the of the spawn. It's crazy. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go through a few things just to give you guys some context of what on earth the trailer was for yesterday. Because <laughs> to be honest, the trailer yesterday was only showing you guys what the server is. It's not actually explaining what the server is. So I thought I would um, I would show you guys and explain to you in depth, hopefully. As much as I can because uh, some things I won't be able to explain because we just haven't gotten to that point yet and we have we're still thinking up concepts and stuff and how things are going to work and things like that so we can't we can't actually explain everything uh, we're still working on a lot of things and <laughs> it's been hectic to get to this point and as I said we're nowhere near complete but, like we have so much stuff to, still to do like it's crazy so I'm just gonna go around and explain some things so the first thing is to explain the four guilds now the guilds are the main part of this server as you can see because you know it's literally called Guildhall MC and um, <laughs> you would think that a a server that its name's Guildhall MC would actually have some guilds in it. So the whole thing with guilds is that each guild has a specific purpose uh, on the server. So, I mean we're closest to, to one of them already. So I'll go through the, all the different guilds and explain their purpose on the server. So the first one I think is over there. Okay guys, so I just want to say from the fact that um, the trailer has just been released yesterday from when I'm uploading this video I'm actually recording this on the day of the upload of the trailer and I did the trailer like two days before it was uploaded and we've already done so much more work on this server so it really just shows the amount of work that we're still putting in the server and you'll see the main culprit for that explanation in a moment so yeah this is the knight's guild this is not complete <laughs> so uh, I've the outside is complete now as you can see this is all changed from the trailer so all of this is completely done I might still add some details around the outside oh, we got the fireflies and just to make it look a little bit nicer because right now it's literally just trees and grass so I might end up just adding a little bit more detail to this. I'm not sure. Oh my god, so many fireflies. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I'll see what I can do to make this look a bit, a bit nicer. We got a little pond here. This is... I like this pond. And, yeah, this is the guild itself. So, I do need to start up holograms for the guilds. I haven't done that yet. If you're wondering what the holograms are, it's the little floating text you saw before. Hello! You're not a citizen of the uh, the Knights Guild. Why are you here? 
Yes. No, no, no. Go out the door. Ah, oh, you maybe break the door. You saw nothing. You, you, you. You saw. You stay out. <laughs> so this is Aota's guild. You saw in the trailer that we have four guild heroes, and Aota is the god. Uh, the god. He was a god at one point. Um, he was. He. You're not helping. He is the guild hero of the Knights Guild. So he's he's kind of like the the master of the guild. So he's yeah, he's 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 just chilling here but at the moment but yeah, he's uh he's he's the big boy of the the Knights Guild. He is going to be a played character. All the guild heroes are played characters. So if you don't know from past MT stuff um, I had another server called Manaria, and you may recognize the names of the four <laughs> of the four heroes. Aota being one of them, uh, obviously. Uh, so yeah, we had those accounts left over from Manaria, so we kind of thought, hey, these accounts aren't being used. <laughs> Let's just bring them here. So that's what we did, and uh, Aota is now in charge of knights. Well done. So each guild represents something in the server. So the Knights Guild kind of represents righteousness and not justice. And you may think, okay, that's really weird, but we have something else for justice. So yeah. So yeah, the the Knights Guild is more for righteousness. They're the I quote lawmakers. They're not the lawmakers. The staff are, but. In, in theory, the Knights Guild is the lawmakers. They're the ones that um, kind of sort out drama on the server. But they are not the only ones that do that. Now, I just said that the Knights Guild is not for drama. Let's head over to the next guild. So, the next guild is right up here. It is the biggest culprit of change since the trailer as you can see a lot has changed it is a drastic change like a big change <laughs> this looks nothing like what I, what we had in the trailer it really just goes to show that everything is subject to change in the server while it's in development so just be aware of that so the knights guild and the assassin guilds are the ones that are not complete yet. So you saw in the Knights Guild that, not, that not much of the interior was done. The same is for the uh, Assassin. So we've got just like really big open areas here. We got Detrith over there. He's in his perch with the, his friend. Oh, there's your name. Okay. So he's got his pet Ravager, uh, his pet Parrot, and then he's got his little throne room in here. So each guild is going to have a meeting room. So this is kind of like Detrus meeting room. He's got his little throne. Um, the Knights Guild has got a round table at the top of the building, which I thought was really cool because it's the Knights of the Round Table. Going into English mythology here, <laughs> I thought that was really cool. So we've got the Knights, the, the Knights of the Round Table at the top of the Knights Building, and we've got the little. Um, throne room here for the assassin's guild so i thought that was really cool so as i said before the knight's guild is not in charge of justice the assassins are so there is a rule set in guild or mc where you can get a bounty put on your head now that bounty is typically dealt with assassins so anyone can actually get that bounty but Typically, if you are in the Assassin's Guild, you will get a higher reward. So that is pretty much what the Assassins are for. So if anyone's been a little naughty on the server, they might get a, a bounty on their head. And you might have this guy coming after you. And um, he's kind of scary, so I don't really want him after me. So <laughs> yeah, Detrus is, uh, is the hero, hero of the Assassin's Guild. And he's got his little pet up there. So each each hero does have a pet, but um, we haven't quite worked out Aotas yet. And the next guild on. So 
I mean, the Night Scale on it does have a pet at the moment, but it's kind of not going to work. So you'll see why in a moment. Also with each guild they have like a little table, so I guess the, the, the Knights of the Round Table is the table, but they do also have another meeting table in the Knights Guild, so it doesn't work. So yeah, this is the meeting table for like the, the Assassin's Guild. If you have any quarrels with any of the guilds and you want to talk to one of the four heroes, this is probably where you'll go. Uh, to talk to them. So, yeah, Detris. I see your little beady eye over there. Okay, so I, that is it for the Assassin's Guild. Obviously, as I said, there is still a lot of work to do here, and we've got to do some work outside as well because this is not going to work here. And then we fill this up here, which is really nice. One thing I do want to say is that before we actually started building, I went on a seed hunting. I went on a little seed hunt for the perfect place to put our spawn because we had so, so, so many ideas for what our spawn would look like. And I just went on a little seed hunt just to find the perfect place where we could put our spawn. And I found this one. We had loads and loads of others that we could possibly have gone for, but this one just really clicked with us. It was actually really cool. So everything that you see here is actually naturally generated. There is a bit of terraforming, like over here is a bit smoother than what it was and such, but overall it is a naturally generated seed. And that includes the massive cave that you see right here. This thing is humongous. It is absolutely huge. Oh, you have no idea how big this actually is. We've actually had to seal off a bit of the cave because it was so big. It's actually behind this wall. So it is actually huge. Um, this up here is about the same size, I think, to what, to what we uh, started with. But this bit down here was huge. Like it was about three, like twice, three times the size of this bit that's shown right here. It was crazy. And we were just like, okay, we have the, the guild ideas. So the guild themes, so we got knights, assassin, merchant, and farming. And we are like, okay, so assassins kind of like being incognito, they like to be a bit hidden and stuff. And we, we saw this cave and I was like, okay, the assassins can go in here, can't they? <laughs> so yeah, this is this is the assassins. Uh, little, little hideout and they've got this entire cave to explore. All of this is the assassins guild. Like it is absolutely huge. It is the biggest guild in the whole, in the whole server. Although, there is that thing that's kind of in view, but in theory, that thing is actually pretty small. You'll see in a moment why I'm saying that. But yeah, the Assassin's Guild is the biggest one, just because it has all of this. It is literally all of this. It is huge. So, that is the Assassin's Guild. On to the next one. Okay, so coming up to the third guild now, we have the Merchant Guild. So this one is run by a Mulden, and you'll see him just in here. So this is his little thing, and that's the problem, because his 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 um his pet is a parrot too. And we're gonna we, I'm gonna have to change that, but that's gonna be fine, because that was that was done on a whim, just because you know it's a ship. What animals do you usually see on a ship? Parrots. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is a Molden. He is the merchant ship hero. So the whole thing with merchants is down to wealth and trading. So that is their role on the server. So if you want to be a little bit more rich, you come to the merchant guild. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is the whole thing with uh, the merchant guild. So if you if you do want to be rich, a little bit more richer than the, than the rest of the server, he comes to the merchant guild <laughs> so yeah it's the, it's literally the, this whole ship it is actually probably the smallest guild i'm not sure about whether i will redo the merchant guild because it is actually pretty small because if it's literally this bit up here and down here so this is literally all that there is with the merchant guild so 
I may, I might redo it, I might not, I'm not sure yet. As I said, everything is subject to change while we're in development, so it is still pretty big, but it's, in comparison with the other guilds, it is tiny. So <laughs> we might change it, I'm not sure yet. So yeah. Oh, and before I, before I forget again, each guild has their own flag because each guild isn't actually called Knights Guild, Merchant Guild, etc, etc. They actually have proper names and the Merchant Guild is called the Grey Wolves, the Assassins are called the Blue Moon and the Knights are called the Red Sword. So that is, um, they've all got their, their names and you'll, you'll get to learn those names once you get in the Discord, link down below. So once you have allocated your guild and you've chosen your guild, you can join one of the guilds and you can, you know, have your own separate chat for that said guild. I've said guild too many times in this video. So <laughs> that is the merchant guild. On to the last one. And um, I bet you can't see it. So up ahead is the farming guild. Now this is the last one. This is probably the most peaceful guild on the server. We really wanted to think of every type of player on the server. Because obviously we've got like the PvPers, we got the, the potatoes obviously, and you get, we just really wanted to be good for all the different types of players on Minecraft. So this is the farming guild, it is, although it is actually huge, it is probably the second smallest uh, guild on the server, if not maybe the smallest, in, in, um, when you look at the actual inside because there's only actually two rooms so there's this one where Iara is seen with her little friend Arnold hang on there we go Arnold so he, he is Iara's little pet so this is where you find Iara in her little I wouldn't say office but it's it, you could say it's her office I don't know <laughs> yeah that is Iara's little room and if you come up a little bit close up for, yeah up a little bit further you'll come to the meeting room this is something that i am going to change because this doesn't really look like the biggest meeting room in the world so i'm going to expand the table out to fill up the whole room that's all i'm really going to change in here so as you can see uh we've got some npcs he had npcs in the merchant guild as well each guild is going to have at least three npcs in it just to you know fill up just just make it a little bit more alive so I'm hoping to get the NPCs to have a, a like a chat or a little chat lines or something but I need to work out how to do that first. There's a lot of things I'm I'm learning as I'm going. So yeah that is the the farming guild and I think what I'll do with the farming guild because obviously each guild has their own like little why are you here? <laughs> has their each little like speaking areas like assassins had the the throne room i think what i'll do i mean this looks like a quite a nice place for some something like that so we could have like er like standing up here looking down on the on her little member well not little <laughs> on her members of her guild so i might do that or something i'm yeah i'm still coming up with ideas with things <laughs> and i'm not sure i'm not quite sure with the merchant ship I, 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 yeah, I'm still trying to work things out with, a f well, a lot of things. Maybe I do make the, the merchant ship a bit bigger. Let me put like another floor in there it's where we can put the meeting hall and stuff in. So <laughs> yeah, a lot of things, as I said, subject to change. So down here we've got the uh, spawn farms. These are just aesthetic. They're not actually functional farms for you to steal food. Because I'm not replanting all this again. Because it was a pain. And I think Spud will uh, agree with that because he helped me. <laughs> so yeah, we got some more houses to be built over here. And yeah, we've got we've got a lot of stuff to do. So also another thing that we have done or are doing, we are building merchant shops. So this is the blacksmith. So this is where you get like weapons. Who's changing the paintings? So we've got, we, he's going to sell like weapons and stuff. You can sell like ores and things to him. So that's going to be something that we're going to implement in the future. We've also got a librarian up here. 
So this is the library up here. So this might hold server lore and things and you can buy like paper from him as, as well. I don't know why all the paintings have changed. I don't know. <laughs> Close the door. Thank you. And then right beside him we've got the observatory. Which I thought was a suiting place because, you know, knowledge. And <laughs> yeah. So over here we have the castle. Now this is huge to say the least. We built what I'm about to show you after this before we built the castle and it the that other thing was absolutely huge and it looks better than the original castle. So we built rebuilt the whole castle. It took a while. Um, it took quite a long day to build to build all this. It was definitely fun. Actually it was more than a day because I built the this building. Like it, it split it between two buildings. So this building was built on another day. This was all built on one day. As long as all the walls and the barracks. So all of this was built on one day and, and, and the extension was built <laughs> the, day, the day after. So it was quite a lot. It was a lot. So yeah, so yeah, this is the barracks. Not complete. There's nothing inside. Nothing up here is actually complete. So this is completely empty as well, except for the horde of monsters in here. So yeah, this is this is definitely not complete. I mean, we got another floor up there as well. So that's all got to be furnished, which I'm not particularly looking forward to doing. Um, it's it's gonna be fun. And then we feel like the state, the castle stables at the back. So we got some here and we got some in here as well. So you might notice that the Knights Guild is very close to the castle. So the Knights Guild is actually um, quite faithful to the royal family. It's, there is going to be a royal family because if you got a castle, I mean, you've got to have kings and queens. So we kind of like, okay, if, if the castle is here, we kind of think that the Knights Guild should be pretty close to it. So we kind of put the Knights Guild right over there. So it is actually the closest guild to the castle. So the next thing on the roster is this thing. So one thing about Guildhall is that we do have a justice system. So we do have a fair share of rules because, you know, we need to, you know, make sure everyone behaves. So we do have a justice system. Now, we have, well, we kind of have two justice systems because we got one on Discord and we've got one on here. So this is the in-game justice system. Um, but you can appeal as well on Discord as well. It, our justice system is quite in-depth, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so if you come in here, we've got the courtrooms. We have four courtrooms. So we got two downstairs, two upstairs, and they're pretty much the same. Um, except the different floor elevation so up here it's just a flat floor because you obviously can't go down because there's, there's another courtroom downstairs if you have done something bad you are able to appeal in the server now this doesn't apply to people that have been banned if you have been banned you have to do it on discord because obviously you can't be in game to actually be on a trial yeah we're, we're going to be pretty strict when it comes to rules because you know you, you, you gotta have rules to make things work properly and to, to function and I I, th I have a feeling that there are p gonna be people that are gonna take things a little bit too far because there's obviously the assassin and um, knights guild they're the pvp guilds so yeah it might get a bit out of hand so that's why we brought in the justice system or one reason why we did at least so yeah that is that's that so if you are put on trial, you get put into this little box. You can't actually get out of it because there's Barry Potts. So do not try. <laughs> and you can only get let out by it from the outside. So you will literally get teleported into the, uh, the, the, this thing. I've forgotten what it's called. And you will be put on trial. So the whole server will be the jury. <laughs> but... It will not be a, an official trial if there is not a staff member present. So, if someone isn't on jury, 
a staff member will be the judge and they will be sat right here and doing just leading the trial if there is not if there is not a staff member there it is not an official trial that is that is your warning for that <laughs> so yeah there has to be a staff member present if you're role playing that's fine i have no problem with that just be aware that we may need courtrooms there is a well we will put on the discord when there will be a trial in the announcements channel so if there is a trial we will put what room there we, what room the trial will be in so like this is one that's two and you can work around that if you want if there's a trial going on so yeah it was quite in depth so that is the trial system so following on from that is that ominous thing right over there not not these not definitely not these so this is our server prison so if you have been found guilty you have a chance of being placed in here so if you're placed in here you're gonna be bored very very bored because there's nothing to do in here like literally all you can do is walk around now right now it's not protected as you can see there's, there's a lot of mobs walking around so yeah once you're in here you cannot do anything you, you're stuck until your time is up that is pretty much what is gonna happen so this this is been purposely done because it's a punishment you're not supposed to enjoy it <laughs> i'm sorry if i'm being a bit ruthless here but it's true so yeah all of this is going to be protected so um if you are put in here you won't be able to do anything and you can actually come in here so all of this is um, available to the people that are put in jail so we've got a little contact thing here so you can this is more aesthetic thing it's not actually functional because it's you know <laughs> it's not really that effective but i thought hey it's a prison prisons usually have this like visitors place where you can go and talk to your family and friends and stuff and i thought that this would be quite a good idea and then we've got the the jail cells in here so you can just pick a room and just go to well not go to sleep i'll make sure that you can't sleep in here <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, if you if you're in here, you won't be able to sleep because you know I mean like that. You're being punished for a reason. You can't even sleep. <laughs> so yeah, that is the uh, the jail system. I mean, you can come up here. <laughs> I might need to fix that. So <laughs> you can come out here, but you cannot go any further because this is all closed off. And if you are a visitor, you can walk in here. So you can literally walk through the gates and you can come into here. So this is the visiting area. So you can come in here. This is the waiting room. Those paintings are not supposed to look like that. I don't know why they're like that. And this is the, the visiting area. So you can come in here. Again, it's mostly aesthetics. It's nothing... Like, it's not actually functional. So... If you want to do a bit of roleplay, you can do a bit of roleplay. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. We're open to roleplayers on here. So, yeah, that is the jail system. Or the, the justice system. So, right over here by the spawn tower. So, this is the spawn tower. This is actually the very first thing that was ever built on the server. It, You have no idea how big this thing is. Or anything on this server is. Without looking at it in person. Like, this... This, this is in comparison to me. This is huge. This was done within a day, I think. It was it was a long project, but we were kind of like, okay, we kind of need like a centerpiece of this of the spawn, and this is what we choose. So, yeah. And they, then we worked out. <laughs> and then we tried to work out where the players would actually spawn in when they join the world or do slash spawn. So, um, this is where you'll where you'll spawn in you'll literally spawn right on that block these two will not be here they're just here for you know my opening <laughs> yeah you will once you have spawned in I mean, you can walk along the walls if you want but you know that's fun 
you can literally walk around along this bridge so you can get to the castle so one reason one other reason why we changed the appearance of the castle is because it didn't really look great um in comparison to the rest of the builds i don't know if i've got any pictures of it still but you know <laughs> it wasn't the best thing in the world so we changed it that went really bright really quickly so yeah we have the castle which is the very first thing that anyone comes in on the server to see so you literally walk out here and straight away it's the castle which i thought was a really good thing to, to see so we did try and make it as good looking as possible it's still not the best in my opinion but it it'll do you know it'll do everything's subject to change so in here we've got the server rules and spawn map so server rules are over here once you're on the server please read them we don't want to deal with drama and rule breakers and stuff as soon as people join so please read the rules <laughs> and as and as these guys um, so please follow them <laughs> we don't want to like ban people straight away so yeah and then we've got our spawn map as you can see you can fall right into it at the moment but that is because we are constantly updating this once it is complete once the spawn is completely done this will be completely filled in with barrier blocks so you will literally be able to walk on top of it so that's that's that would be pretty cool so we've got the uh, assassin guild, merchant guild, farming guild. That is a brilliant tree, by the way. That's the best. That is the best small tree that I could build. <laughs> we've got the nice guild over there, castle, uh, town hall. So that that the town hall hasn't actually been built yet, but I know where it's going to be. I got coliseum, which again hasn't been built yet, but it's going to be up there. Got prison, um, shipyard, which I haven't gone into. Blacksmith library. I think that's everything and that's the the spawn tower right there so yeah that's that is something again we're constantly updating once we actually complete builds and stuff so actually i need to put in the uh the courtroom i just i just remembered that i i haven't been in the courtroom yet so i'll do that eventually so yeah that's something that we will constantly be changing as we progress with building so right down here we have the almighty staff room. Wow, that looks majestic right there. So this is the staff room. I must say right now, as of this moment, we are accepting staff applications. If you wish to be staff and wish to be part of the development of the server, you are able to apply. So we do have a channel on the on the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, uh, where we are accepting staff applications. So if you if you want to apply, do that. Just make sure that you fill it in as much as you can. I know that we haven't actually given much information yet, but you know we we are opening staff applications straight away before it has even released. So yeah, if you want to join. You can you can apply and you can you might find yourselves in one of these seats so this could be you so yeah it's it's a big thing so if you want to if you want to be a staff member you can apply and you could find yourself standing in this hall among the greats and then over there as tofu so yeah you will get lots of perks being a staff member by the way so we've actually planned to have like staff events where we actually reward staff for their good um staff skills <laughs> and uh yeah we just we really want to be the best leaders for the staff team so as three as three owners have literally said Hey, if you want, if you're gonna be a staff member, we we do want to reward you for for doing your best and taking up your time and stuff. So we are going to be rewarding staff. Look at that! That's just majestic right there. Look at that! That's beautiful. <laughs> so, wait, why doesn't Yara have her um, name tag on top? That's a bit weird. I might have to fix that. I don't know why that's happened. 
yeah, that is the staff room. So if you want to play, go ahead. We're not going to stop you. The application is there in the Discord. You're welcome to, to fill it out if you want. So yeah, that is the staff room. And then we've got the uh, the four heroes up there. So each of the four heroes is going to be played by one of us. So as I said, all of three these three are playable characters for us. We're not giving them out to regular players. Don't do that. <laughs> but but um, yeah. I don't know if you've worked it out, but I'm playing Iara. Because, um, yeah. So, literally, the person that is playing said character is right in front of them. So, Callum is playing uh, Amaldin. Uh, Spud is playing Dutchworth. And Ash is playing Iota. So, and obviously, me, me and Iara. Me, me and Iara have literally been soul bound since Mineria. Same with Callum and Amaldin. You might you might remember Callum. He's um he he was my admin on Mineria, so but this time round he is my uh, my one of my partners on Guildhall. So Yeah. I got two partners. I got I got Spud and Callum. Um so yeah. And if you are also been placed in here, as you probably might have noticed, you get a mascot. So obviously I had to go for the, the one and only wait, hang on. Um Oh that's where my name is gone. I don't know why that was like that. As you know, I kinda had had to have Squeakers. Squeakers is my channel mascot, so I kinda had to have him. He is in every single survival world that I've ever done. So <laughs> it kinda had to be there. And we've obviously got Jeff for, for Callum because he's he's obsessed with Jeff. For some reason, even though I had I I was the one that made Jeff, so I don't know why he's got him. But yeah, if you if you get a, a staff position, you have the opportunity to choose your own mascot, and it uh, yeah, it can be exactly the same as one of us. But I need to ask that. I I need to actually ask Tofu what he wants. Yeah, that is the server. I know this has been a long video, but I I really just wanted to explain some things. And yeah, there was a lot to explain. As I said, a lot is subject subject to change. If you have any suggestions for the server, we have a suggestions channel in the Discord. So we are open to suggestions on how to make this as player friendly as possible we we want your suggestions because it is a community uh server so this this server would literally not be able to function without the without the players so we we are definitely open to suggestions on how to make it better and that suggestions uh channel it may be open temporarily it may not i don't know we'll have to see uh, it really depends on if we continuously get new players and stuff, but yeah, if you have any suggestions for the server, put it in there or just DM me or one of the three, or one of the other two owners, so Calum and Spud. So we're all on, we're all on the Discord. We've all got owner tags, so if you if you want to talk to us, we're there. <laughs> yeah, that is it for this video. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to say. Uh, we've we, yeah, we we've gone through pretty much everything. We have got this little this little island up here. This is actually a monument for Techno, just because you know he he did pass away while we were in the process of making it, the the server. So we kind of did a little monument for him. Yeah, if you're able to get up here, you can you can pay your respects to Techno. So. Yeah, that is it for this video. As I keep saying, <laughs> I keep finding more things to talk about. So I, before I keep blabbering on about things, I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna leave it there, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions or any ideas and stuff, please just comment down below or talk to us in the Discord. We are very very open to talking about things uh, because we do want this to be a community project. Um, we want you guys input on how to improve the server because as I said the server would not be here without the players um, one thing that we do I, I probably should discuss is that there will be ranks but we will make sure with all our might 
to not make it pay to win. We just, we do need to have actual input to, you know, keep the server going. So there will be ranks that you will be able to buy. I don't know if we'll be doing kits quite yet. We're going to see what we'll do. But if you, but the, um, each rank will get a, a crate key if they do a rank. Hang on, let's do that, fix that. <laughs> just got a hole. So all the, all the crates are over here. We haven't quite done them yet. But I just want to warn you that there are going to be ranks. We're going to make sure that they are not paid to win because we, as gamers, as three owners, definitely know what it's like to be in a pay to win game. And we don't like it. <laughs> and we don't want to force that on, on our players. So we will make sure that the server is not paid to win. So, yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to expect much from you guys in regards to that kind of stuff so we, we just want to make this error as best as we can for you guys because we just we really just want the our community to be happy that is that's it and i keep rambling on after i say that i'm gonna end it so yeah i'm gonna leave it there guys i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe i don't know if i said that already <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one i'm just gonna have this in the background with those two should look at them over there. Bye! What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection.